Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about C++ program to reverse a string. Suppose if I enter hello, then output or display O L E H. Next, I am going to discuss what the trend method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main function. Here, after that, go inside. So, add here, uh, I have taken two integer variable i and k. So, add here k initialized to 0 and a char type variable ch. And add here, I have given the size 25. So, add here, enter any string. So, this or display into the output screen. And whatever I'm going to enter, so that received by ch. So at here I'm going to enter hello h e double l o. So at here this is indexing going to do the indexing. This is a zero position. This is one. This is two. This is third, and this is fourth position. So now here, after I start from 0, oh, that check the condition ch i position not equal to null. So at here 0 position h is there. So the condition is true. So that go inside and that increase the value of k. So k is now 1. So here after that go up and increase the value of i. So i become 1. That check the condition ch i position i is now 1 i 1 position e is there so e not equal to null so the condition is true then that increase the value of k so k is now 2 here after i gonna increase by 1 so i become 3 now check the condition ch sorry i is now 1 and then i become 2 so at here ch 2 position l is there L not equal to null, the condition is true. Then again that increase the value of k. So k is now 3. Again that go up and increase the value of i. So i become 3 now. So add here, check the conditions. CH 3 position. So 3 position is L is there. So L not equal to null, the condition is true. Again that coincide and increase the value of k. So here after I will i equal to increase also. So add here, CH 4 position. Check the uh, CH4 position O is there, so O not equal to null, condition is true, then again that coincide. So at here K become O5. Now I also increase, so I become 5 also. 
so at your ch5 position so no any value is there so at your this point null value is there this point fifth position so at your null not equal to null condition is false so at your control comes to this point so at your this or uh, uh, displaying to the output screen now from here control comes to this point so at your i equal to k minus 1 so k value is now 5 5 minus 1 so i value start from i equal to k minus 1 so k is now 5 5 minus 1 so i value start from 4 check the condition 4 greater than equal to 0 condition is true so that go inside so at your c out ch i position so i position is now 4 so that display so 4 position o is there so o display now here after that or uh, decrease the value of i so i become 4 to 3 check the condition 3 greater than equal to 0 condition is true so ch or 3 position 3 position is l is there so l at your display now i gonna decrease by 1 so i become 2 now check the condition 2 greater than equal to 0 condition 2 so ch or 2 position l is there so add display again after displaying the in, uh, that decrease the value of i so i become 1 so at your 1 position e is there so e sorry 1 so at your check the condition 1 greater than 0 condition is 2 so c out ch of 1 position 1 position e is there so e display now hereafter i gonna or decrease by 1 so i become 0 now so at your check the condition 0 equal to 0 condition is true so c out ch of 0 position h is there so h display so hereafter or uh, that decrease the value of i so i become minus 1 now check the condition minus 1 greater than equal to 0 condition is not true so that out from a for loop and hereafter that out from main function so this is the output display into the screen o l l e h so this is the drive method of this program so i hope guys you understand so thanks for watching see you next week